Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Renee and I am so glad you're here. Let me tell you about some of the things that I love to do. Just little, simple things that make me feel better. And I know that we're all stuck at home right now. Me included, y'all. I go to work and I'm home. But there are just a couple little things that I just need to do on occasion to make myself feel better. To just kind of give myself a little pick me up and today is one of those days. So, I've got on a cute pair of jeans, little belt, I have my toenails painted, and I have on some cute little sandals, and I'm doing nothing but running to Lowe's. I'll be back home in an hour, y'all. But I But I just needed for myself and my self-esteem on this rainy, gloomy, yucky week that we have had, I just needed to feel better. So, I got up this morning and decided to do a couple things. My fingernails, my lip gloss, having on earrings, putting on a cute little outfit, and having my brows done. I've said in so many videos that I do not leave home without my earrings on. Earrings just, uh, just make me feel put together, just a little finishing touch. Even if I am doing nothing but in a tank top and shorts and running to the grocery, I still have on some form of a little earring. So this is the new earring that I bought because you all suggested that I try some bigger earrings. This is the earring that I'm used to wearing. I, I basically doubled my earring size. What do you think? Somebody comment below and let me know. Are these earrings too big? Are they just right? I don't know. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to this size. Pollux, he's still working on that donut, y'all. Are y'all chilling on a rainy day, Pollux? What the hey? Ooh! It's my package. Right, Pollux, we got a package. This is what we've been waiting for. The mailman just brought two Amazon packages. I am so, can y'all hear the dogs barking? It's like nuts. But I'm so excited about what's inside of both of these packages. One of them I'm gonna show you. It is something that makes me feel so much better. The other package is for the dogs. That's a whole nother video. But while I'm outside, I'll tell you, the reason I got dressed today is because Randy and I are gonna go to Lowe's because we are gonna redo our front door. My front door is so tired. It needs a pick-me-up. I painted it black about four years ago, and you all can see that the paint is just faded. This wreath is, it just needs to go, and my front door needs some work. I saw a woman on TikTok, of all things, repainting her front door. She had the exact same door that I have, and she like did a whole door, front door redo, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're headed to Lowe's today to get the paint and the brushes and all the things we need to do for the door. So stay tuned, that's coming up soon. I think we're gonna try to do it next weekend. Let me show you what's inside this box. I love to do my own nails. I am not gonna pay to go to the salon to have them done. It's too expensive. I just cannot commit to the upkeep and the appointments. And so years ago, actually in 2013, and I'll tell you why I know 2013, but years ago, I decided I was gonna do my own nails. I figured it out, I bought all the equipment that I needed, and ever since then, I have done my own fingernails, my toenails, and both of my daughters have done the same. Well, Couple days ago, I was doing my fingernails and my trusty that I have had since 2013 gel LED light, the bulb went out. My light died. I guess I got my $49 worth out of it, but I went into panic mode and I got on Amazon and unfortunately the light that I've had for all these years is no longer made. They have really ramped up the technology on these little UV LED lights that you need for your gel nails. And so I bought myself a new light. It was $20, big enough for my hand, but the drying power is so much better, it's gonna take me half the amount of time to do my nails. So let's open the box. I can't wait to see this light. Oh, look at that. What are you doing, sir? He was checking out the packages. All right, this is what I picked out. Look at this little thing. It looks like an igloo, honestly. Perfect for my hands. 
I could probably, oh, <gasps> look at that. It knows when my hand is inside. It senses it. Super cool. And I've got 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, and 99 seconds. Well, that's odd, but okay. So let's see what happens. If I start it here, oh, it counts down. I know exactly how much time I have left. This is exciting. I always love to do my nails and my toes. It's just a thing. It's my thing, y'all. I love it. It makes me feel good about myself. I feel put together. I feel clean. I feel just elevated. And I don't have to be dressed up and fancy to feel good about my nails. I just love having clean, short, put together, polished nails. I do it myself. I do my own nails. I do it with gel polish. I get about two weeks out of my nails and I just love to have my nails done and my toenails. I always have matching fingernails and toenails if I can help it. If you are interested in how to do your own nails at home with gel polish, I have an entire tutorial video about it. I'll link it right up here. So this is what I have on shellac. It's called Hot Chilies. And this is what it looks like. So you can see, see how shiny that is? And it stays like that for two weeks, y'all. No joke, this, the shellac brand is fantastic. So all you need to do your nails with shellac is the base coat, you need the top coat, and then your favorite color. And of course, your light. I have so many more shellac colors. I swear I have like 20. I have, I have a nail polish maybe addiction sort of, I don't know. <laughs> My favorite, favorite all-time color is Hollywood. This is just a classic red. I feel like I can wear Hollywood all year round. Winter, summer, spring, fall, this is my favorite red color. So choose your favorite brand of polish. It doesn't matter what it is and just get you a really cute color. So besides always having on earrings and having my nails painted, something else that just makes me feel so put together is my brows. I love to get my brows threaded. I do that every couple months. I did it about three weeks ago. So my eyebrows are looking good and I have to have a brow powder on my brows. My brows are not thin. They're just not as defined as I like them. And I just feel like I look so much better when my brows are defined. Not overly defined. I don't want to look like a cartoon character. Just a little bit defined. This is my favorite brow powder. It's from Anastasia. Brow Powder Duo. There it is. That's my favorite. And I have the brush that goes with it. I use both ends to comb my brows and then this is what I use to put on my powder. I just feel like I look so much better when my brows are done. I just like to take this little brush in, keep my brows kind of brushed up looking good like that. And then when I put on the powder, I just use that little end and just dab a little in here just to give them a little bit of definition. And I just feel better about myself. And you all know how much I love my lip gloss. I've said over and over that I have like a lip gloss addiction. I must always have something sticky and sappy on my lips. Even if it is just my plain Aqua 4 chapstick, I gotta have it. But since I'm going out today, I have on my new favorite lipstick. It is a NARS lipstick called Falbella. My daughter's got me this for my birthday and it is the perfect pinky, brownie, ready. I have it on right now, Falbella from NARS. And then my favorite lip gloss is from Clinique. It looks like it is a bright red in this tube, but really it's not. It's a very sheer, just sticky lip gloss, and it just gives a light coat of color, a, just a little bit of shimmer. I just love this little Clinique lip gloss, and it's called Juicy Apple because the color is so sheer. I mean, you can see just a little bit of it, but it is so sheer. I really love this for the gloss the stickiness, the staying power, and it comes in so many colors. So just get your favorite, but this one is Juicy Apple. And the last thing that just makes me feel good about myself is like I said, just jumping in the shower, doing my hair. It's not that I have anywhere to go because I don't, I'm just going to Lowe's, but I just needed to get dressed. <laughs> Look at little Mooie. Hey Mooie, come down here. Maxie wanted to see me. <laughs> 
there is no harm in always having a cute pair of capri jeans and i found these little jeans i'm wearing they're on old navy and i'll give you a tip i'm short i'm five two when I go into Old Navy, I can never buy jeans in there because they are not made for me because I am petite. The knees don't hit me in the right place, the crotch is always too long, and the jeans are too long. I just can never buy jeans. Well, I had discovered that Old Navy has petite jeans and, and all sorts of petite stuff on their website and so i recently have ordered several things in petite and they fit me perfectly these are my super cute petite jeans that i got from old navy randy did that video by the way i couldn't get a full-length video of myself so i had to call in reinforcements i bought this little cheetah shirt my daughter and i went shopping because she needed some jeans and some things before she left for college and so we went in a little local boutique here in my hometown and i thought oh everything was cheetah look how cute this little t-shirt is and so i bought it i've never worn it until today so i took a shower fixed my hair put on the shirt and when I walked out of the bedroom, Randy went, whoa, he stopped and looked at me. He is not used to seeing me in a print like this. And I'm going to be honest, I am not used to seeing myself in a print like this. I was putting on my makeup and the whole time thinking, oh, I do not know if this gray hair and this cheetah shirt can work together. I don't know. Like all of the browns and golds in this top are in stark contrast to my gray and black hair. I don't know about it. I am outside of my comfort zone. Can I pull off this cheetah? I mean, I, I just don't know about it, y'all. I just needed to wash my hair. I needed to put on a cute top. Don't know about this cheetah print yet, but I just needed to get dressed. Didn't matter that I have nowhere to go. I just needed it for my self-esteem because the, the previous six days, I've worked at the ice cream shop. My hair's been in a ponytail. I've just had on a work shirt. I just felt yuck. I smelled like waffle cones. And, and when I say that, you all laugh at me. You always comment about, well, there could be worse things than smelling like waffle cones. But y'all, let me tell you, it is not good. When waffle cone smell gets in this hair, it is not coming out. So those are just a couple little things that just make me feel better about myself. Simple things, inexpensive things, such as my nails, my earrings, always having my brows done, and just putting on a cute little top and a cute pair of jeans, even if you don't need to. Just do it. Do it for your self-esteem. If you have something that you do that always makes you feel better, comment below. I would love to hear it because maybe I need to try it out. As I'm looking outside, y'all, it is literally pouring down rain. But my hair's done. I feel good about myself. I feel like I look decently cute today. So, Randy's ready. Finally, y'all, I am always ready before my husband. Always. It, <laughs> he hears me. He is always last. Y'all, I have two daughters and me, and we're always ready before Randy. He is always bringing up the rear, but he's ready. He's waiting for me. We're going to go to Lowe's. We're going to get all the stuff we need to do to redo our front door, and so stay tuned for that video coming up, but I'll see you later.